there we go. Um, my name is Dylan Johns. Um, I'm the assistant uh, project manager uh, for this project uh, for the city. Um, this is a pre-construction community meeting for our Westcliff drainage improvements project, as well as our sanitary sewer rehabilitation uh, contract 91 project. Uh, Mike Bennett is the primary project manager uh, for the city. Um, this is a uh, partnership project between uh, the city's transportation and public works department and the uh, water department. Um, this project will involve uh, water, sanitary sewer, and uh, stormwater uh, construction. Uh, the Westcliff area has had uh, frequent flooding problems as well as undersized and uh, caused by undersized drainage pipes. So the stormwater aspect of this project will be uh, upgrading that infrastructure. Um, uh, for the water portion of the project, they will be uh, updating undersized water pipes. And uh, for the sanitary sewer, they will be uh, rehabilitating aging and undersized uh, sewer pipes. Uh, this has been a multi-phase project uh, for stormwater. This is the, our third phase, although the name of the project is phase one. Uh, and for uh, the water and sewer portion, this is their second phase of the project. And uh, this will be the last one before uh, we're finished over there. Um, like I just said, this is a three phase drainage improvement project uh, phases 2A as well as 2B have already been completed. Uh, this is considered phase 1 of our project. Um, but this will be uh, the last bit needed to make the full upgraded system uh, operational. Um, so some details of. Uh, about the specific work we'll be doing uh, for the stormwater portion. Um, we will be upgrading the storm drain pipes along Trail Lake Drive, Manderley Place, uh, Anita Avenue, and Suffolk Drive. There will also be some minor channel improvements in Foster Park, um, where the trail uh, crosses the channel downstream of our storm drain outfall. Uh, we're going to be cleaning out the existing culverts down there, as well as armoring the banks of the channel around the trail crossing, uh, just to prevent any potential erosion problems or anything like that down there. Um, there will be, the water line work will be done on Trail Lake Drive, Seminary Drive, uh, Suffolk Drive, Anita Avenue, Winfield Avenue, and Cherokee Trail, um, and the. Uh, Sanitary sewer rehabilitation will be happening on Trail Lake, Seminary, uh, South Drive, and then Anita, Winfield, uh, Carolyn Road, and Cherokee Trail as well. Um, so this is our uh, pre-construction meeting. Um, we are uh, planning to start construction in June uh, after school lets out. And um, this will be a two year project. We anticipate uh, completing uh, the project in May of 2024. Um, we will be starting on Seminary Drive and Trail Lake Drive with our uh, water and sewer installation over there. Um, we're timing up um, construction on this project to try to minimize impacts to the elementary school, uh, Westcliff Elementary. Um, and so the work along the water and sewer work uh, adjacent to the school will be done this summer and uh, storm drain work along Trail Lake Drive that would impact uh, any drivers heading to the school will be done uh, next summer, uh, summer of 2023. So our uh, contractor on this project will be Circle C Construction Company. Um, I did see that they have at least uh, one person on this call or on a, in this meeting right now uh, to answer any questions that may come up. Brian McGill will be the inspector for the city, um, keeping an eye on things for us um, while everything is being built. Um, Circle C will be distributing door hangers on streets 
um, before work begins on your specific street. Um, they'll send, uh, send out door hangers one week before the start of construction to notify you that it will be happening on your road. And then there will be a follow up uh, door hanger left, I believe, two or three days before the start of construction. Um, the, the city did need to get a few easements on this project. Um, but we have already contacted all the property owners where uh, easements are required. Uh, so that process is already underway. Uh, if you would ever like to get more information about the project or any project updates uh, during construction, um, there is a web page on the city's website. Uh, I've, that's the link for it down there. Um, but if uh, you're trying to find it, you can also Google uh, City of Fort Worth uh, Capital Improvement Projects and uh, search for uh, the keyword Westcliff, and um, it, it will be uh, one of the top results on the city's webpage. Um, there will be uh, traffic impacts during construction. Uh, during the storm drain construction on Trail Lake Drive uh, in the summer of 2023, uh, Trail Lake Drive between um, uh, Encanto and Manderley Place will be uh, temporarily closed uh, for the duration of construction along there for us to install the storm drain pipe. Unfortunately, uh, the size of the pipe is so large, we won't be able to um, allow traffic to pass during construction, but there will be detours. Uh, detour signs will be posted to direct traffic along the detour route. And um, other streets impacted during construction uh, will uh, be passable to traffic uh, while construction is ongoing. Um, so you will be able, ex with the exception of uh, Trail Lake Drive next summer, we you will be able to get up and down the road during construction. Um, there may be times when there's an open trench that you can't get to the side of the road or something like that, but um, the streets will be, you will have at least one lane to drive on and uh, any roads where it's necessary, our contractor will have flaggers out to help direct traffic. Um, I guess we'll open the open it up to questions. Um, this also on this screen is the contact information for the primary project manager, Mike Bennett, as well as um, myself and our inspector, Brian, and our contractor, Keegan, if there are uh, things that come up during construction and, you know, any potential emergencies, you know, hopefully not, but just in case that is everyone's uh, contact information. Dylan, we do have a question in, a, in the chat and basically what are considered the construction hours and will residents be impacted by construction noise overnight? Uh, residents will not be impacted overnight. Um, I believe the city's working hours are, uh, Mike, could you help me out? Is it eight to six uh, seven, or seven, seven to six? Seven and six. So most seven of the most six. construction, yeah, seven and six. Most of the construction will be between eight and five, but there will be not. There will not be any work in the after hours, and then on the weekends it will be limited. They the contractors. This is a the contractors may work over the weekend, but they do have to put in requests for that. But we do not anticipate that being a regular occurrence. Are there any other questions out there? Yes. Um, well, how will the how will our front yards be affected? So basically, now one of the things that we want to point out that there is the city has right of way. So the right of way does not 
stop at the curb line. If there is, a, if a resident has a, has granted the city a temporary construction easement, then we may the contractor may work further into into the yard. Otherwise, their activities will be limited to the right of way. But again, that doesn't the right of way doesn't stop at the at the curb line. There are a lot of streets that's either five feet or ten feet that go into the yard. And therefore, there may be times when the contractor is walking on that part of the yard or they may have some temporary materials there for a short duration. Now then, any even if it's within that right of way, and especially if it's in a, a temporary construction construction easement that we have obtained from the residents, all of this will be restored and it will be restored with sod. So, and if there are any, there's a lot of times residents will put their sprinkler systems in the right of way because that enables them to water all the grass between the front door and the and the curb. If there is any damage to the sprinklers that are in the right of way, we will all the contractor will also fix those as well. So, the way we look at it, your yard should be uh, when it, when we get done with a project, your your yard should be the same as it is today or better. And if you have any questions or concerns about that during construction, please reach. And by the way, my name is Mike Bennett, and I am the project manager for this. And so, if you do have any questions or concerns that come up during construction or even afterwards, please, please absolutely reach out to us. I have a question. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I live on Manderley Place. If I saw the initial description correctly, it looks like you're only doing storm sewer on Manderley Place between Anita and Trail Lake. Uh, I'm just curious what the size of that pipe is going to be and will Manderley Place ever be shut down as far as access to our driveway? You should be able to get access to your driveway. I will say that this is going to be, we're going to have to work that out on Manderley. Now, unfortunately, there was a, a bit of, I'm sorry that was not clear if it was if you got if you understood it to be only storm drain because in Manderley we are reworking the water and sewer in order to get the storm drain in and that storm drain is going to be a it's good it's a mass it's a really big box was it uh once mike i'm looking up the exact size right now uh, thank you it i want to say it's a 27 foot wide and eight foot wide i mean it's it's a really large box in that area and we will be working on manually from curb to curb. So I can't tell you right, you know, it's never on a situation like this. I want to be able to tell you that you will have access to your driveway, you know, 100% of the time, but that's, that's just not factually true. There will be periods of time where the hole is in front of your driveway and no, and basically what, the, what happens is the contractors will knock on the door and let you know before it happens that the the equipment will be needing to get in front of your driveway and so while we are placing the storm drain box and the sewer and the water those times it they it will be best that if you are outside of your driveway if you need to be able to drive your car but there will be notifications with that okay but, then i'd follow up with since you're going to be working sewer water um will that start sooner than 2023 that is very unlikely that the on the storm drain now because basically what the way we intend to work on that and you typically work on storm drain pipes is you start on the downstream where the water is out falling that's the side that start the place that you want to start and you start working your way upstream and so the downstream is there at the outfall is right there at trail lake just north of windale court yeah. And we're, we've committed at this point in time that we're not going to do that work until starting in 22, 23. Um, so I would, and it's going to take every bit of effort on the contractor to get that stuff done over the summer in Trail Lake. So in all likelihood, Manderley would probably start in the fall. Now this big speculation right now, do you, please, please understand that. Yeah. But, the, it's anticipated it would probably be in the fall is when we'd get on the manually of 23. Okay, thank you. 
And the, to answer the first part of your question, the size of the pipe along Manderley is a 10 foot by eight foot uh, concrete box. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> slightly off on yeah. that. I don't think we'll have access to our driveway all the time. <laughs> no, okay. no. Right, we do you. have another question in the, the chat. Uh, let's see, we had a contractor that was putting in a bid for this job stop by our house several weeks or months back. Like I said, this project would include significant work in our backyard. Is that, I'm not, let me see if I can get, okay. Back, let's see, sorry. I'm not seeing, is, Jeff, are you seeing this whole it, it's missing a word. It says it is that. It says is that correct? I copied it and pasted it into a word document so I can see the whole thing because the chat is misbehaving for some reason. All right. So uh, which, I think it would depend on what which which street sewer. What some there is some sewer work that is going to be done part of because again this is this project has two pieces to it. One piece is the drainage, the other piece is the water sewer. And the water and sewer, some of the sewer lines are in backyards today. And they are moving some of those sewers from the backyards to the front and or to the street. And of course, your sewer service, if it's currently running the back, they will have to change it and run it to the front. And that I know that's going to require some work. And it does that. Now you just asked if that was true. Is there any other thing with that? Does that answer your question in full? Do you have the detail of that? Because between Suffolk and Manderley Place, our sewer line is in the back, and there have been problems with it uh, from time to time. Do you have any of that detail in front of you to know if that line is going to be replaced? Can. Scott Taylor is with the water department and he helped oversee the design of the water department's portion of this project. Scott, are you online and able to answer that question? And well, uh, I'm I'm here, but I don't have my plans in front of me. Okay. I'm at that location. Uh, I would have to get back to answer that question. I am. I'm guessing that the majority of the sewer mains that are in the back, we are moving those to the front or into the street. So that would require us working with the property owner uh, and Keegan, as, as we've discussed this with our contractor, will work with you to figure out what the best way is to reroute your sewer to the front. Uh, so, and that will be done. The city will be uh, paying that cost. So, but we we're going to try to avoid uh, landscaping and things like that. But then with grab with this being gravity, we you know we got to get it to the street. But I would have to look up and and see, and I may uh, uh, send Mike uh, a. Uh, a response uh, tomorrow when I get a chance to fully go back to the plans and look at that. But I do believe Manderley is one of the streets that we are uh, relocating the sewer to the front. Well, there's because I know we already have on man. I guess it depends on what part of Manderley. Yeah. Because the the there is sewer in the street that we're already dealing with. I don't see on this. I'm looking at the slide right now. I don't see anything that makes you think that it's in the back. So what? Well, the so. There is sewer in Manderley, and we we live there. And uh, the collection pipe in between the houses uh, on the property line at the back of Suffolk and Manderley, that collection pipe comes to our property, okay. and there's a manhole at that point, and then it turns in right angle, 90 degrees, and goes down alongside our house to the sewer in the street in Manderley. We probably won't have that much of a problem because we have the collection running alongside our house, which our sewer is tapped into. But yeah. all the other houses will probably have a different issue. 
Yeah, no, it sounds like you will you would not be impacted because yeah. your service line's going to where it would go uh, no matter what. So uh, even if we replace the sewer line that parallel that is along your house, that would your sewer service would only be disrupted during uh, a short period of time while we uh, uh, put the new pipe in and then we connected the services. So, yeah, I think you probably will not have the issue with us. Uh, the contractor being in your backyard. Yeah, thank you. Um, and uh, to get back to the question from the chat from Maddie, uh, I guess you posted a follow up saying you live on Winfield and I'm looking at the plans right now. It looks like on Winfield, uh, currently your sanitary sewer runs along the back of the property lines and it will be moved into the street. So that that is uh, what's happening for you. And uh, the impact to your yard would just be moving the uh, service. Okay, we have another question here. Are sidewalks or widening of the roadways affected or part of this project, Dylan? Uh, no, that is not a part of our project. Is there a recording of the meeting as I was only able to join at 625? And the answer to that is yes, we are. Go ahead, Dylan. I, I was just going to say, yes, there, there is a recording and uh, we'll be posting it on the city's web page, project page for this. I guess I will go back to our contact page and does anyone else have any other questions? Yes, I have a question. And that is along yes, Anita, Anita Avenue uh, from Winfield to Manderley. Uh, is that, are they putting a new storm drain from there? Because there's currently a storm drain close to Winfield and Anita that crosses to the we Southwest and goes into the open uh, ditch behind those houses on seminary where the church is. And I was yes. wondering, are, um, are they replacing that or taking that out? That, leave, that portion of that the storm there? drain pipe uh, won't be affected on Anita okay. between Winfield and Manderley. Um, there's sewer work and I think water line work, but Thanks. the storm drain on Anita will be installed between Manderley and Suffolk. Okay. So all that water that comes down. And then um, uh, a question on the um, sanitary sewer. Uh, I live right there where the Manderley and Anita come together, uh, just to the south of that, uh, just the next lot. And there, and our current sewer is between my house and my neighbor next door that goes to the street to Anita. Uh, is is that being rerouted or is that going to stay there, that portion of sanitary sewer? That portion yeah. of sanitary sewer will be moved out into the street. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. One more follow up question about sewers and or drainage lines, sewage lines in the backyard. I notice on the map that uh, Acacia is not affected, Cordo or Anita. Um, I live on the corner of Suffolk and Acacia, and I know that my sewage empties out through my backyard. What about those folks who are my neighbors down the street of Acacia and Anita? Are they going to be affected with needing to have that sewage line moved out to the front? On Acacia and Anita, north of Suffolk, no, those lines will not be rerouted into the street. Um, on Acacia, the lines aren't impacted. Uh, there is a sewer rehabilitation um, between Suffolk and Corto, uh, between Anita and Trail Lake Drive. That sewer line runs along the back of the 
property lines, but it's being rehabilitated through uh, pipe enlargement. So um, th they won't be digging all the way across everybody's backyards. There'll be a uh, launch pit and receiving pit at either end. Understood. And the line will be uh, trenchlessly rehabbed and then they'll go in, they'll have to go in to uh, reconnect everybody's sewer services. Um, but there will be minimal uh, impact to people's backyards uh, doing it that way. Understood. Thank you very much. With a follow-up question here again, uh, since we live on Manderley and have that sewer pipe running in the back, will that pipe just be abandoned uh, once the new pipe is, is, is in front and connected? So it, looking at the plans, that line between Manderley and Suffolk isn't being rehabbed with this one. Uh, parts of it will be the part that's in the street along Manderley that's being relocated. And then, like I just, the one I just talked about between Suffolk and Corto that runs through uh, the back of property lines is being redone. But it looks like the one that runs along your property isn't being uh, fully rehabilitated. So it will uh, be as is. Well, I, I'm assuming it'll be abandoned because you're running all the sewer lines to the front from the back line. There's an existing sewer line in Manderley that we're, we're touching. We're not, that's what Dylan was trying to say. We're not rerouting that, that backyard line. There is already well, sewer in Manderley and we're, we're relocating that one. Yes, I understand that. Okay. Okay. Right now, right now you have a lot of houses connected to the back line. Yeah. And, and all I'm asking is, will you just abandon that line? Uh, once you hook up to the front of Manderley. That, that's what we're trying to provide is that we're not rerouting. So no, there's not going to be the ones that are hooked up to the back today will remain hooked up to the back when we're done. Oh, okay. That was just the, that sewer line, the, the water department did not feel needed to be rehabilitated. Scott, do you have any, um, I know you're not in front of your plans. Do you recollect that one at all? Did that, yeah. that newer I, line? That, not? Yeah, I mean, basically I, we evaluated that whole area and it probably did not meet the level of needing uh, upsizing or replacing at this time. So uh, uh, that's probably why it was, is not being touched is it, it is in fairly good condition. I, I have a question. I live on uh, Anita right where Manderley comes into it, just to the south. Behind our property, there is an easement area that opens up onto Carolyn Street, just immediately about one house south of uh, Suffolk. And we have a storm drain and a sanitary sewer back there that uh, frequently the storm drain in a heavy rain will blow the top off the box and um, wondering if you're gonna be doing something about that. And that's what all this is doing. Thank you. I'll take this, Dylan. So we really wanna stay in touch with you. Our goal for this project would, would be to eliminate any blowing of the storm drain manhole. That line will remain active, but by putting in this larger system, it should reduce the stress on the line that goes next to your house. Okay. So well, you well the reason I'm asking is because also the sanitary sewer back there often has a bad, bad smell coming out of it. And I, that just has been happening over the last few months. That, uh, those should be, be unrelated. Those should be unrelated. Well, okay. Well, and, and the, uh, that sanitary sewer line will be rerouted into the street. Okay. Well, it already is routed so, into the street, isn't it? It goes directly between our house and our neighbor's house, uh, out there. And we tap in right immediately on the just beyond our gate going to the backyard is where we tap into it and it runs 
between our house and our neighbor's home. You said you were on the, could you say we're which intersection Anita. you're on again? We're right at 4125 Anita, and that's immediately to the south of the intersection of Man. Manderley, and we are on the east side of the road. So that um, there's so, also so currently, a okay. Oh, I was, I was going to say, just to try and clarify what I mean by mm -hmm. rerouted to the street, currently your mm -hmm. sanitary sewer service drains to the back of your property, and it will now be draining to the front. Okay, ours the drains actually to the side. Ours drains to the side and connects with the with the sanitary sewer that go, that's immediately out in front of our, in that intersection of Manderley and Anita. We had work done on it, and they showed us where it ran. A couple oh, of years we ago, you. we believe you. That's sometimes our the the services are picked up a little bit differently sometimes on our okay. plant. But, okay. But, the know. other question that I had really quickly, if I may, is yes, when please. the water comes off of uh, Granbury and Carolyn up uh, South Drive onto Anita. After they redid the streets, they changed the. Um, the rise in the, the center crown. of the road, the crown of the road, they took it out and everything. And now then when the water pours down the street from uh, the south of us, it just runs onto our side of the street only and does not go into the storm drains on the west side of the street at all. And I have video to show how that works. Is that going to be addressed at all so that the water that's coming off of that street up to our south would be um, equalized between the two sides. Dylan, could you pull up that set of plans so we can look at that intersection, please, sir? Yes, I'm, I'm working on finding it right now. All right, while while Dylan's working on that, can I ask you one that the smell that you were receiving from the sewer? Yes. Did that happen when during rains or could it happen any time of the- Any time. Uh, it's just- yeah. the, Okay. Two months. Yeah. It was typically in Texas, we do not run our storm drain with our, our sewer. That's that's something that does not happen here in Texas. They're just so, side by side in the back. Yeah. Well, sometimes what happens is, you know, there's uh, a, a crack in the line, or crack, more likely a crack in a sanitary sewer manhole. And so mm -hmm. when in, it rains, you know, it, that can get a little bit of It doesn't matter if it's rained or but not. That's, that that's no what difference. I was asking. So, yeah. Um, it sounds like it just might be a an older line. I don't know, but that's definitely not storm drain related. Yeah, that was that's just all started in the last couple of months. We've started noticing that smell is getting worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I didn't know since you're doing sanitary sewer if that was part of the plan to rehab that area or not. Okay. So at at the intersection of Anita and Manderley, we are putting in inlets. Okay, that's not, that's the opposite direction. That's north of us. Well, it's a little bit, it's a little bit. <clears throat> I'm talking about up at the corner of, north, it's actually south of Winfield. South Drive. South and Yeah, I don't think, our, well, our storm drain system isn't <clears throat> like that far. And I don't think we're. Okay. We wouldn't be touching the streets as far as the storm drain goes, but the. Water department project, I guess that Dylan, the question would be is uh, typically when we go through, I, I, I think I've been at a public meeting here where residents have discussed the crown of the road being adjusted, I guess would be a way to say it. Mm -hmm. And th that has not been a part, there's not, that has not been a part of this project is right. a lot of Well, it just said it makes it. Um, it makes it so that one side of the street remains completely dry as far as water yeah. going down that the anything on the west side is not getting a water feed to it. It's only on the east side that it happens because yeah. of the lay of the land. Yeah, and I will tell you the typical design is, while it's not necessarily convenient, our goal is to keep the water in the right of way. And so what what I'm, what's supposed to happen is the curb is supposed to be higher than the crown of the road. So mm -hmm. before it spills over into the yard, it should be spilling over the crown and onto the other side of the street. 
Now we there are times we try to avoid where it's getting lopsided like that, but overall that doesn't lift to the side of to the concern to where we necessarily start modifying the um, inlets and things like yeah. like that. Well, I've got we, we can take a look at it. The, the, any of the out, any of the storm drains on the west side are just totally not getting water yeah. in them. So. Yeah. Well, what happens is because that's in the the more frequent events, the smaller events where 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 you see that most of the time, in the heavier rain events where it starts spilling it. Those inlets would still be beneficial when it, there it's the super heavy rains where the water's spilling over the crown. Mm -hmm. that, there is no crown anymore. They made it completely flat. Yes. Carolyn <laughs> Schwimmer, one of the uh, engineers huh? I talked to years ago, said they took the crown completely out. Really? Yeah. Okay. It's completely flat. We'll 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 take a look. We'll take a further look at this and see. Okay. If thank you. Absolutely. Are there any more questions out there? Okay, what about sewage line in Anita? That's a new, I think that's a new, a new chat. What about yeah. sewage line on Anita between Suffolk and Manderley? That one is remaining in place. I believe. Actually, between Carol and Anita. Are they going to replace the yes. streets also after they're all done? Dylan, do you want to take that? Uh, yeah, we will be repaving uh, the affected streets. They put a crown back in. <laughs> they will have that they will the contractor will be following the whatever plan is produced that shows the the crown. I mean typically they will have streets do have the crown and that that is what the contractor is putting in unless we show something differently. And and I believe we're using standard details. I believe we call out using yeah. a detail with the crown. So how uh, so they're going to start at Trail Lake and Seminary, and then they're going to go east on Seminary to South Drive. That's going to be part of the first, I guess, this summer. Is that correct? And then uh, Manderley and Trail Lake and down to almost Windale. That will be next uh, summer. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Do you know when they're going to work on Anita Avenue? Estimated, um, or guesstimated, I should say. That that that's good. I, that gets a little bit more uh, difficult because Manderley, there's so much work that's going on. Maybe between Trail Leg and Manderley, it's kind of a best best guess. Okay. That. So, and they're going to spend a bit of probably have to spend a bit of time on Manderley. Okay, thank you. Out of curiosity, on again, I'm the one on Manderley. Um, that huge seven by ten box culvert, does it go up to Anita and stop? Is that where, it, or where it starts at Anita and Manderley, and then comes down to Trail Lake? Y yes, the seven by ten box culvert runs down Manderley from Anita to Trail Lake. Um, we'll be turning the corner on Anita, and I believe that box is a little bit smaller. Uh, the one on Anita is a 7x7 seven seven box. And then um, I believe most of the pipe along Suffolk Drive is also a 7x7 seven seven box. Okay. Okay. So it's really starting up on Suffolk, and then you're going to turn south on Anita, and then you're going to turn west on Manderley, 
if I understand you right. Oh, yes. Sorry, I, okay. I misunderstood what you were asking. The, the storm drain portion of the project, the most upstream part is uh, on Suffolk uh, near the intersection of Granberry Road. Okay. And so we'll, little... we'll be going all the way down Suffolk to Anita and then down Anita to Manderley, Manderley to Trail Lake and then Trail Lake Drive to the channel. And then you tie there. in the existing storm drains to the new one? Were there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There was a lot of work done um, last year at Granbury and Suffolk. Was that part of the storm drain project in one of your earlier phases? Yes, that was phase uh, 2B. Okay. Thank you. At Anita and Manderley, there's three storm drain inlets there. Are they going to be bringing the new pipe to the uh, east side of the street, I hope. Because that's where the, that's where the um, bottleneck of flooding is. Um, could you say the location again, Anita and what? Anita and Manderley. There are three storm uh, inlets at that intersection. And I just want to make uh -huh. sure that when they come up with the new uh, eight by 10 going to, coming up Manderley, that they're actually going to connect that to the East side of the street because that's where the flooding because is. that's where the flooding bottleneck actually is. Yes, all all of the existing inlets will be tied into the new pipe. Okay, good. Thank you. Church is going to have a chocolate challenge. Getting people. In they can't have their hair dry Do we have any other any other questions out there? Looks like we've I believe we've answered anything in the chat. If you if I didn't answer your question on the chat, please please uh Retype or let us know. And we'll... Well, if that is all, I think we can call this a wrap. As Dylan and Jeff mentioned, this meeting is has been recorded. So if you missed anything and or if you have any neighbors who would like to hear the meeting please direct them to the city forwards website and just search for westcliff and you will find you will find the link to the project page Thank that you. is it we will let everybody go back and have a dinner <laughs>